first approach that we had and the requirement for that was to have a high-speed uh, texture measurement that can be attached to a car. Well, the old method is basically taking a volume of known amount of sand and we put that on the surface of the road. We screed that around to make a circle and then we measure the diameter of that circle. That is very time consuming and unsafe. AUT assigned us two staff members to work out what our problem was and we took them out to site to show them what we do um, and what our problem was and then they came up with a solution. Our solution is we can provide a sensor which can be carried by the normal car at a speed of 50 or to 80 km per hour to finish all the measurements and to produce very user-friendly user interface. So what we did, we had three lasers on place measuring the texture. It has a GPS that pinpoints the measurements on the road. We export these files to Excel and to Google Map data so you can actually look where it happened. It's less office work after. Annually, we would do over 100 kilometers in the Auckland region of texture measuring. And in the past, that would have taken us two to three months to do. Um, now with the new laser system, it would take us just over a week. The hazard is eliminated. So in the past, they need to control traffic. The person stand on the roads is very dangerous. So this means nowadays, you just need one passenger and one driver on a car. It's been a great success because of the AUT staff, their technical expertise, um, the way they want to understand our problem and coming out to site to have a look at what we do out there um, and giving us great options of um, ways to solve our problem. Our relation with Photohoga has been fantastic. I think other than this RTD monitor project, we actually start another project last month. We have more projects in the pipeline in the future.